These labs run 24-7. This lab that we are in here, the Brampton Lab, is one of our largest labs across the Dynakia family. I have about uh, 25 people who process thousands of samples every single night. But you've got to figure is that there's a global shortage of MLTs. But the work is the same. The work is sometimes increasing. The population is aging. So how do you do the same amount of work or more work with less people <laughs> and, and the same quality, right? Dynacare installed three WASP upfront specimen processors in December of 2015. Then in June of 2021, the lab was able to integrate these legacy instruments when transitioning to full lab automation, adding one new WASP and six double incubators. Then in September of 2022, the lab installed Phenomatrix, Copan's revolutionary artificial intelligence software. We always do the manual process before. I think this is a dinosaur. It's like reading a newspaper every morning rather than going online and just flipping through the paper, right? This is how I look at it. In bacteriology, when you do one step, person has to remember what my next step is. Why don't we put everything in the perspective in the system? So system will guide you and eventually bring you to the mid-decision rather than you making decision yourself. That's the only way to move forward and gain lots of efficiencies in the system and improve the quality of the results. As I say, doctors want the results right away because they want to treat the patient, right? The staff don't really have that same apprehension they have with automation. And in fact, I think they've really transitioned from more of a, hey, this is a major threat to my way of life and the way I do things today to, hey, this is a really helpful tool that we can use to have a higher level of clinical impact. With the whole system, we really do benefit in the ability to load a sample and having the system take it from there. The WASP labels a plate, streaks a plate. It's sent along a track system throughout the whole system. Well, of course, WASP is programmed to insert that inoculation loop into the urine at that perfect textbook 90 degree angle every single time. It made sense, right? And, and humans can't do that, especially when we have to get through 2,000 urines in a day. So you can see how we've been able to reduce foot traffic um, and eliminate a lot of the touch points along the way or it, from end to end throughout our entire urine culture process. We've benefited in areas of safety, quality, lab efficiency. Um, we've been able to eliminate a lot of the manual steps that we previously did have to perform. For me to just say that it has helped would be an understatement. It is the best investment we've made in microbiology in my time at Dynacare. Whatever we have saved, we have redeployed to other areas of our business. Uh, right now, we are moving technologies from even microbiology to other areas, to chemistry, to uh, pathology. I think in terms of every department, automation has played a big impact. And I feel people in general are more motivated and they really love the technology. There's a lot of stuff, opportunities, this WASP lab has opened up for the Dynacare. It's a big step forward, for sure.